Fox Focus, a few minutes for a closer look. Hello, welcome to Fox Focus. It is time for Case or No Case, and this is a great way for you to learn your legal options if you or somebody you know is ever hurt. I'm Karen D'Alessandro from the FM 106.1 Morning Show, and I'm joined by Jeff Pittman of PKSD. It's great to see you. Great to see you, too. I always come away learning something from these. Good, and that's the idea. We want other people to learn from it, too. It's, again, education and knowledge is power for people. Well, and, and I feel a little pressure because I have to decide with this paddle what you're gonna what, what it is, but okay, let's see what you got. All right, now don't choke on it, though, okay? I'll do good. Right. Okay, so we've got um, two scenarios. So the first one is an auto accident. So your friend is a passenger in a friend's vehicle, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, they get rear-ended on I-43. They Another car just plows into the back seat. Your friend was a backseat passenger, seriously injured as a result of that. Unfortunately, the driver of the vehicle does not have insurance, and the driver who rear-ended the vehicle doesn't have insurance either. So. Neither drivers have insurance, but your friend's pretty seriously injured. Would your friend have a case or no case against anybody in that situation? Uh, somebody's got to help pay for their injuries. I'm going to say there is a case, and it has to do with their own insurance. I know you've told me about this before. It's like uninsured driver or something. Or uninsured that. motorist coverage, right. right. So you're right. It would be a, a case, and we have talked about this before because this is really important for people to know. Mm -hmm. Uninsured motorist coverage is the insurance that protects you, regardless of who's at fault in an accident. So if you have a car and you have insurance, it's portable. It goes with you. So you can be in somebody else's car, mm -hmm. and if you're involved in an accident with an uninsured motorist, it covers you. So it's really important, even though the law requires it, it's very important that people know what their rights are, know that they have the uninsured motorist coverage, and we highly recommend that they buy as much uninsured motorist coverage as they can because it's the one coverage that protects their family. Yeah. And it's relatively inexpensive when you compare it to the bodily injury coverage. So it is a case yeah. if they have uninsured motorist coverage. All right, got that one. Good job. Let's see okay. which, what All else right. I can do here. <laughs> okay, so we have the um, assisted living facility uh, situation. So your dad's moving into an assisted living facility because he needs some help with his activities of daily living, he needs some help with housekeeping, with some meals, with um, you know bathing, and mm -hmm. with medications. It, it's a situation now that we find a lot of, a lot mm -hmm. of people are, are uh, in, involved in with their parents. And so your dad um, it walks on his own, he's in independent, does not have a history of falling, and he's fairly strong. And so um, one morning he gets up, he needs to go to the bathroom. On the way to the bathroom, he falls and he breaks his hip. Case or no case against the assisted living facility in that scenario? I think just because he's there, even though he's healthy relatively, and I think just he's there. So yes, they should be a responsible case. Probably not a case. Not a case. But a lot of people think that, and that's what I wanted to really educate people about here. So if your dad does not have a history of falling, if he's walking independently and does not have weakness, then they probably would not have been able to predict that mm. he was at risk for falling. So on a first fall like that, the question is, what could they have done to prevent it? And in my mind, probably nothing. They just didn't know that your dad was going to fall right. on that, and there was nothing that they did or didn't do to contribute to that fall. The important thing is that they do an assessment, and then they identify the risk. And if there's no risk, there's probably nothing they could have done to prevent that fall. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. You specialize in these types of cases I as do. well? I do. And if you check PKSD.com out, you will find everything about uh, Jeff and his team of attorneys there. You can also call them at 333-3333 for the PKSD guarantee. Thanks for watching today, and we'll catch you next time on Case or No Case here on Fox 6. Interested in appearing on Fox Focus? Email us at foxfocus at fox6now.com.